time you came to New York to see the dead bodies? Jesus. Am I terrible? Are you excited about this trip to Connecticut? No, I thought we'd turn around and go home. <laughs> <laughs> this is how early it is in the morning. What time did you get to my house this morning? Uh, 5 a.m. And what did your little uh, mileage thing say earlier this six, morning? 666. 666 six, six, six on Actually, the... Actually, it was not 5 a.m. It was 5.30 because I left just before 5. So about 5.30, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Animal Doll. My goal is to stir up some problems. You are going to stir the pot. I'm going to stir the pot. I'm going to make fun of the doll. I'm, I'm but not. I I'm not. Him, I should have known I should have brought my sage. I might have to go buy a sage stick here. I have sage in the uh, in my good thing. You have a white sage yes. stick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, because we might need to do and, that over here. And I have a holy stick. Oh, good. We might mm -hmm. need that. Yeah. Do I need to go buy a cross? No, we need to just go buy some holy water just, so, just in case I have to say by the power of Christ compels you <laughs> to do exorcism on you. <laughs> I love you, Mom. So don't I. My mom's awesome. I'm I go. hope that people that have passed on come through and um, communicate with us during this trip. Yeah. You know? I hope Chuck comes because I think that's who she needs to hear through for the most she told me that I better wear, she told me I had to bring the hat, I had to wear the, the hat. The witch hat? Yeah. She said, you, you gotta wear his sweatshirt, and of course I got my tattoo, tattoo. that's always on my body. Yeah. But she said, you have to, she was, she was, I hope you come to the office, bitch, take my hat off. <laughs> <laughs> but what was just crazy is because my grandmother went to Florida, and she bought everybody Disney t-shirts, and she bought me a pink with a flamingo on it because she thought it was pretty. Oh. So both of them went to another, you know, you know, one went to Florida and to Hawaii and they both bought me pink flamingo t-shirts instead of shirts from where they went. I don't know how that cord's standing on that uh, ledge like that. It's not falling off. It's not taped on there. Continue for two miles. Yeah, continue for two miles. Uh -huh. I've got to pee too, so we're going to stop somewhere when we find something. I don't want to be pissing anybody. Oh, I'm going to urinate all over your car. In two miles, use yeah, the right two lanes to take exit six for Mohegan Sun Boulevard. changing my clothes in this parking lot. Um, it I'm, says second level this way. I pointed this way, so I'm gonna go this way. And that's that. That's reserved for the popos. somebody important, I guess. It says combat. Do you expect to have combat in here? <laughs> that's scary. That's a car. It's a car. It's a car. It's a car. Level two. Oh, right up there. They all There's have a parking spot right here. Park. Yeah, but I can't change right here. Wait, wait, wait. Fine. I'll, no, that's fine. No, I'll, I'll okay. go over here. Alright, right there. Okay. okay. We made it. Yes, we did. So excited. Yes, I'll be even more excited after I pee. Same.
Wow. Look at this line. It's quite a line. You think? I think. It was longer than this. Remember, we were way the heck back there. Yeah, we were way down there. I keep even on the Thank you. Thank you. Alright, go through your metal detector. Is that the museum? No, what is that? Oh, that's the museum. Yeah, they put mine on. I'm really sorry. I know this is super awkward. And we're allowed to take pictures and stuff, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Enjoy. Thank you. That's a creepy looking doll, huh? Very creepy looking doll. Dead. Battery just died? I mean, completely dead, and I phoned into the brand new battery. <laughs> See? And you taped it, so it shows it. What? Okay, this is the movie doll. Okay, this is the one from the movie. Isn't she pretty? No, not actually. I think she's kind of. Scary. Say look. Hmm. Yeah, I agree with that one. This one's much more scary than that. It really is. It really actually is. Look how tiny that is. That's for young kids. Child's coffin? Demon and the young boy witness saw the toy move across the family broke sealed Connecticut home floor when a voice was hearing say you are all going to die.
looks a little possessed. I bet you no one here brought a spirit box. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, there's the animal doll right yeah, there. Yeah, probably over there. Look how far they have it away yeah. from people because... Yeah. It's actually the clothing? Yeah, the clothing. All witches. And check out the uh, cemetery. Well, yeah, it's I'm close saying by. that we can um, help see how far it is away. Yeah. Because if it isn't that far, right? Right. Maybe we'll see it. There's another one of your sisters. You keep saying that. I don't think you've ever met any of my sisters. Huh? I don't think you've ever met any of my sisters. No, I haven't. Isn't it creepy how she looks like she's looking at us? How the hell would I have met your sisters? I mean, she's in a nun's uniform. <laughs> okay, the witch house stands for the move between the towns. People began suffering, hallucinations, sickness, and death. Whether you were found guilty of witchcraft and hanged in 1960. In 1651, some 40 years before the Salem witch trial. All right, we gotta get in line. Before it gets too long.
Like the red hanging. Yeah, I don't know. I got bad vibes from that hanging one. That didn't bother me. <laughs> Does that mean I'm weird? Yep. Pick a boo. I, I see, see you. you. <laughs> Vampire coffin. Jesus, that gives you bad vibes, huh? Any evil spirits in that mirror? I don't know, there might be. I was asking the, uh, I was asking the mirror, not you. <laughs> Alright, take a picture of yourself in the mirror. I enjoy it. Yeah. What? I'm a heart attack on TV. Huh? I definitely did. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh, you did? That was episode five, I think. Yeah, I had a heart attack. I had oh to my hospital. God, that must have been scary. You know what? I, I got I got six dents now. Really? Yeah. I'm glad you're doing good though. Yeah. Wow. Doing a lot better. Yeah. All of these are five dollars, and the rosaries are twenty-five. If you want one, I'll buy you one. I'm going to yeah. get myself one. Yeah. If you want a personalized autograph, these are 10, and these are 5, but I just signed my name on small. Uh, so, we're going to get two bracelets. Okay, pick which ones you want, and I'll get it for you. Oh, God, they're all gorgeous. So, all of these are spiritual warfare bra bracelets. You see, you got St. Michael, St. Benedict. So, what? So I investigate abandoned buildings in, my, uh, in Maine, where I live. And I constantly am bringing back um, spirits to where they're... So you're going to want something like this. Yeah. Benedict. Okay, I'll get one of them then. Okay. Okay, I want, I want a St. Michael. Which one you want? Oh, um... Tell me which one you want. Uh, um, I'm thinking... This one. Uh, oh, you want the pretty one. <laughs> well, in the car. Well, make sure it fits first. Make sure it fits good. So they all these are all going to be Okay. Yeah, these are all five. And the roses are 25. Are you seriously going to get a tattoo? How much are the tattoos? I have no idea. You have to ask them. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even use it. I just looked at it. I was like, oh my god, that's so long. Oh, wow. Wow. This Alexander Williams goes with the ashes. Like, why am I? Look at me. You should get that. And the Ouija board? Yeah, the Ouija thingy. Oh my god. Oh, those are music boxes. Oh, they're music? Are you sure? Yeah, or REM pods. Yes, but if it goes, if something goes up to the box, yeah. it will play. <laughs> See? Oh, oh, that is awesome. Look. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, I love those. <laughs> those are nice. Yeah, 
she bought me this. Not a Hawaiian shirt. That's perfect. Did you go buy it online? Who wants a muumuu anyway? Well, I didn't want a muumuu, but you know. <laughs> I went to, my mom went to Hawaii and this is all I got back was the lousy t-shirt. She got me this and then she bought me um, one of the lays that weren't real flowers because those died. They just make them with yes, flowers. Yes. She bought me one of those. That's it's beautiful. Delicious. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, Betty White. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. And I got her on my phone. Oh, see, the teddy bear has the teddy bear has marshmallow flavored little teddy bear ears. Oh my God. And the the, the, the box is a uh, it's chocolate uh, vanilla strawberry cheesecake inside. Oh my God. <laughs> Gentlemen. Hello there. It's nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. My wife has a hat just like that. But <laughs> she does not understand that. Um, now, see, I know who these guys are. Yeah, I was going to say, do you know who these gentlemen are? Well, yes, I know who they are. Yeah, where are you from? You guys originally started with those, um, Jason and um, you Tango. Yeah. Well, you guys started with them. That's where I first saw you guys with Jason, Tango, France, Steve. Yeah, two kids. Yes, indeed. Yeah, do look at our, uh, well, our display here. Just some of my pictures are $10 each, you know. We're here for the day and we'll be lecturing. We're giving a talk at 7 p.m. 7 p.m.? Yep. These are some Rhode Island pictures. And, uh, well, not all Rhode Island. Mass Methuen, Massachusetts. <laughs> Have you guys Australia. ever been to Maine? Yeah. Yeah? It's, I, I live, we live there. Yeah. And uh, I go to uh, abandoned buildings and I uh, do investigations and stuff like that. And we brought some crazy stuff home. It's like, can't be doing that no more. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Hitchhikers. Unintentional. Yep. Unintentional. A point of being an investigator, you embed yourself into the environment. You become, you become a part of a spiritual activity that's revolving around all this energy that's still trapped here. Something can physically attack you here at this prison. Is there someone at the end of the hall? Oh, that's that Bobby Mackey said. Zach uh, kept going to. Yeah. So I always say mediums, we, we all read differently. We pick things up differently. Uh, we deliver the message differently. But for me as a medium, you know, I've been picking things up since I was four or five years old. And so the way that I've learned to develop and to deliver my readings is my goal is to deliver some sort of validation, closure, healing that our loved ones are still with us, even if they're not here in the physical world. Everything's paranormal, but everything is paranormal. We're all dying every second that we're talking. 
right? Not to get dramatic and down it. But if you think about it, where's the consciousness and the brain go with all the information that we collect throughout our lives? Where's that information go? Where's the consciousness go when we die? What about the energy that we produce, kinetic energy when I'm moving around up here? Where's the energy go? Where's the electricity go? That's the type of stuff that I'm really fascinated on, more so about the consciousness, because if our minds are the most powerful tools in the world, what happens to that triggering effect when the body dies? And every second that I'm talking, we are dying. But every second that we're living, we are ghosts too. So then you look into the, the, the avenue of going down the notion of time, time doesn't exist, what is time? What is gravity? What is anything? <laughs> we have billions of neutrinos. If you guys look around, you can't see neutrinos, right? Passing through your body. So what else is in that spectrum? We're seeing the spectrum visually here, animals here. You get like this flood of emotions and wanting to run, wanting to get away. Hurry, right in the middle. Hey, is that you? Come right back. Over time, can energies from the other side possess our bodies and manipulate the mind? There's an energy right here. Overtake my body. It just goes next to you. How far will I have to go to seek the answers I'm looking for? Okay, but you don't you don't want to talk to me, huh? No. You don't like it. But he does. He does. 
You'll talk. Okay, I need somebody to talk to you. Someone has this how it works. I'll follow you around after this because they're not going to leave me alone. They're your people, not mine. So I got to address this. Who's the gentleman who died or had the significant fire that would have caused lung damage? You do as well? Okay. Okay, and then, but how do you understand it? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Me, I had had one damage because of the house Okay, gotcha. Okay. And then, do you have a father who passed? And did he pass before the fire? No. No. He, he passed after the fire? Uh, yes, shortly after. Gotcha. Okay. Because there's a there's a significance to dad, and I don't know what role he played or how you understand dad protecting you, but he keeps coming across as protecting you and wanting to address the fire and what would have caused the damage in your lungs. I've had five, five house fires in my life and he's had to rebuild four houses. Okay. And just before he died, he was helping me rebuild my house. Your dad kept me awake for over 40 minutes last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said we we're gonna talk whether you like it or not because <laughs> Um, he wants to address this with you because he said that there was an guilt associated when he passed that you either weren't able to get to him or you weren't able to say certain things to him. So I don't know if that's the communication on his end, but he said, I helped him through all of these fires, but then you felt guilty because you didn't either get to address him before he passed or get there in time. You understand that? Yeah. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. So he wants you to let that go. Because he said he would have done anything for you. And he knew you were either on your way, because for some reason he just showed me either trying to get there or something prevented you. And he said you weren't supposed to be there. He didn't want you to remember that. Okay? So you gotta hang on to that. Um, and then also, uh, oh, has your mother passed as well? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. she, because he brought her forward. There's also a similarity between mom passing and dad passing, so I don't know how to place this, but either the communication. They both died from their homes. They did what? But they, they both had heart problems. Okay, um, because he talks about the similarity in how they passed, and also the fact that you didn't get to say goodbye to mom either, so there's a weird disconnect of not being able to say goodbye to either of them. So he wanted to address the fires, he wanted to address helping you through those, and then he brought mom through and says, but we also have to address this because there wasn't closure. You understand that? Yeah, my mom died at 42, my father at 67. Okay, so know that they're with you. Okay, and they were definitely with me last night. <laughs> okay, um, I kind of want to come here for a minute though too because you also have a father who passed? Yeah. Okay. Because, um, like I said, sometimes there's piggybacking that happens, and as I was communicating here with him, your father had stepped forward. Yeah. Is there a connection to the military with dad or some sort he of law enforcement? the Korean War. Okay, the Korean War? Yeah. Okay. Because then he talks about, it's like your dad wants to address the fire as well. Um, he's also a form of protection for you, but he comes in the uniform, so he wants to be known in his uniform, because he's very proud of that. Um, and. There's also a younger person who would have passed as well. My nephew. Okay, and that happened in the more recent years? That happened four months after my dad died. Gotcha, okay, because he said it was, it was recent, so whether he meant recent after he passed or however you understand that, because he said it was important that I address protecting you and that your nephew's okay, because he said he passed very quickly and unexpected. Yes. So he wants you to know that he's okay and he brought him forward to say that. Um, and then what was done in memory of your nephew? And when I when I look at what he's trying to show me, there was either, there was something built or made in memory of him, but I keep wanting to say something built. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I know I wrote him a poem. Okay. And kind of looks like about time and his time on earth and everything. Okay. Because, because he talks about building something, creating something. He, well, I hired him to do stuff in my yard, so. Okay. He was building stuff there. Okay. He said he didn't see this coming. So whatever happened to him, he didn't see coming. Um, and he needs you guys to know that he didn't suffer because the way that it happened was really blunt, is what he said. Mm -hmm. And so he said, just know that I didn't suffer, that I am okay. And he wants to acknowledge what was done for him in memory. He just wants you, he wants to thank you for that. Yeah. Katie, who are you waiting to see?
Who am I waiting to see? Yeah. I'm waiting to see Kalisha. Yeah? Yeah. The deaf walker? Well, she helps in the show. Do you think she's going to pick up on Chuck? I hope to help her. Yeah? Yeah. We'll see. Could I get you to do something yeah. for me? Can I please have a text so she can see anything? Oh, okay. Yeah. They have a picture. Okay. Please, I'll give you one. Are you going to get an autograph? Because it's passed yeah. down in the picture. Because it feels like it would go home and like, pass down like that. Who's the grandma? Is there a grandma? I don't know if it's passed yet. Is this hers? No. Okay. Who's the woman now? Because it feels yeah. like she'd be a grandmother. Yeah, well, I do have a grandma that's passed. Okay, but who's this? Okay, Chuck was like a uh, grandmother who was gay to all of us. Okay, my older brother was is, is homosexual and he was like their grandmother. He was like a mother oh, I see. figure to okay. us. Okay, that's yeah. why I was like, it feels like it would be like a mother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He, he did help take care of us when my mother was working. Okay, because you want to address that it, whatever happened was accidental. Oh, sorry? Accidental? Accidental? Yeah. Yeah, he, um, he was found sleeping and... Um, I contacted him with my spirit box in the house, and he, I said, Chuck, do you know how you died? He said, no, ha what happened? I said, you died of a heart attack. We think it might have been a heart attack because he was like 500 pounds. And he goes, oh, that sucks. I'm trying to wake up. I'm sleeping. Yeah. So he was sleeping when he died. So it was... Yeah, that's funny because it's a very motherly Yes, yeah, he was like that. Yeah, yeah. keep wearing it. Because I was homeless, and he um, helped all of us. Seriously, I would have said thought he would have been <laughs> in my head. <laughs> no, he wants you yeah. to keep it going. Represent it. Represent Perfect. It. Yeah. Thank you guys for doing that. That was awesome. Thank you. I'm going to flip him off. Are you fucking me? Impatient! Fuck you. Uh-huh. You impatient cocksucker! Next time I'll stay there all f***ing day! Next, I can pull back in and sit there all day! Go f*** yourself! Looks like a f***ing f***! I'm supposed to go the other way, but please got me, I can't. He's an impatient. He was impatient as f***. That's what happens when guys have small wieners, honey. <laughs> They're very impatient. It's 2.30. I don't know if they'll let us check in now or not. We can always find out, right? Hurry up, I gotta poop! Dad. Hello. It is fancy. Yeah. We're fancy like Applebee's on a late night. Guess what? I don't know if we're fancy for that. Of course, she makes me pull it. I heard you fought too. Help me guide this. I'm doing a one hand of recording. Cool. 101. 106. Right here. 102. Wow. <laughs> um. Let's flip it. What do you mean, flip it? <laughs> Can you believe our cart in the hallway? Yep, because I gotta poop. Well, I, I can't do all this by myself. What do you think? He became extremely negative. Yep, his posts when he was doing his mukbangs yeah, became, became very negative. Yeah, calling us his um, puppets, peasants. Peasants, and I'm like, excuse me, Nick, I used to love you. I used to find you because he used to be happy and you know what I mean and all that. Nicky was a bunch of plates, so hey. Well, they weren't Did expecting it? this to be only for two people. Well, I'm not going to eat that much, Tony. We have, we have Discovery Plus. We have Disney Have Plus. you guys noticed in every video I take, she's talking? Oh, she's blowing a Snuggie. Who are you talking to? 
Who are you talking to? Why are you showing me blowing my nose? I mean, I don't think people want to see me blow my nose. <laughs> Can we please talk about this picture? Look at this guy. It's, it's Look at the size of those cheeks, dude. It does look like that. But isn't that a statue? This guy looks pissed. He don't look happy. This guy looks completely friggin' dumbfounded about what's happening. You mean the one with a curl on the side? Yeah, what the... F <laughs> this guy's three. lost. Friggin' all, lost his space. Look at this guy right here. He's looking up like... I just don't know what's happening on this planet right now. Not one of these statues or any of these men look like no, they were man. a thrill to hang out with. I well, they... <laughs> They all look like they had a very dry, stiff personality. <laughs> what happened? You know how you, your mind makes shapes that are, or images that you can see? Well, <laughs> you've been having really bad bowel problems. What the f*** are you seeing? A dog's face. Katie, what did you dump down that toilet? That is an awful smell. I had to poop so It literally smells like death visited you. And it left whatever remnants. Something died in you, honey. There's no dog there. There's no, there's no dog there. No, come here, poop there. You can, your mind will whoop you. And I want to enter the war zone. What is wrong with you? I did. If you look at it, you see in there, you'll see, you'll see like how... Is that what you're looking at as you're pooping it and you left gifts in the door? I see no dog there. Right here, the face. No. There's eye, eye, and then mouth. No, oh, I see. his has up mouth. <laughs> but it also looks like the state of Maine. Look. Well, this that's is the right vein. here, right here. Yes. But inside it's it was like the dog's face. In the state of Maine. Yeah. I got a question. Yeah, no, I'm stuck on this floor. By the well, way. Sucks to be you. Ugh. If you're seriously stuck on that floor, I can't lift you to fuck up, dude. Katie, what time is it? One oh eight. In the morning, right? Yeah. You know the only thing I can think of lying here. What? How friggin' ugly this picture is. And it's above my bed. It's not above your bed. If it's looking at me, it's above me. Above you would have been on the ceiling. Look at that face, though. <laughs> not even a mother could love that. And they put it in the room? This motherfucker looks lost. His eyes are going in different directions. He doesn't even know which way he's traveling. This one looks like a pervert. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this one's looking for Christ. He wants to be forgiven for touching this guy. <laughs> See? He's pissed. He's looking up at him saying, Dad, I got herpes now. I love you. Hi, Tony. It said Tony again. Who is speaking to Tony? Chuck! Can I see you? And it said after the Chuck, I said Tony. Bye. Chuck's not done. Did you hear that? Good, I'm glad he's not done. Chuck, he talked to us. Is that too bright on you, love? No. It's not like, I mean, no, it ain't too, you know, I mean, they blind. Chucky, talk to me. I'm looking, that's going off like crazy. Yeah, that's okay. Chucky, is that you, buddy? Are you talking? Yeah? Hi. Hi. 
Get out of here. Or something like that. Chucky, is it okay that I have your hand? Light that up. Hello? Look at that. That's going crazy. Yeah. That's going crazy. How many spirits are in this hotel room? Give me a number. Did you talk to a lady and talk about your um, hat today? Chuck, if you're really here, could you light that up and put it on orange and hold it as long as you can? Did you just hear yeah and it sounded like him? Yeah. Yeah. Chuck, do it again. Light that up and hold it on orange. Yeah, see? Perfect. He's been doing it quite a bit. Tony? Kid, you're a kid? That's yeah. bright. Kid again. What what color do you like? Blue? Yellow. Yellow. Alright, you want me to leave it on the yellow? Nick. I do. Alright, I'm gonna get this out of her eyes though so I don't blind her. Teresa? Did you talk to that to that lady today? Did you actually tell her it was you? That today? Or was she full of shit? I talked to her. That's why I thought I heard it said. So you talked to her? Wow. Okay, you can stop. You can't make that go off too long. You need to stall up. Chucky, stop. Keep it going, you know, my pain. Don't stop that. That. On the same one, the yellow one. Yeah. Will you stop? Look, it's doing all of them. No. Stop. Thank you. And it's lighting that one up now. Good boy. Please, I hear please. I boys. Alright, you gotta step away from that. How many spirits are in this hotel? Could you give me a number? It's one again. Brian. No, it Brian. Isn't just Brian. Brian. Is your name Brian? Asshole. I thought it was an asshole. Did you hear asshole? No, I just heard an asshole. If you're Samuel, touch this green button right here. The green light. Samuel, how old are you? Say an age. Samuel, you're a hundred years old? By confirming... If you're a hundred, light that up right now. Samuel? Did you die in the 1800s? Hamilton? You could have traveled here and died at a hundred. Oh yeah, on this land. Yeah. Did you die on this land? Yep. Did. Yep. Did you hear yep? Yep. 
Well, it looked quite dry. Now, did you own the land? Listen, if you want this to be a yes device to answer your questions, you gotta step away instantly, make it stop when you're done. Okay? So answer and then make it stop. Samuel, did you own this land? I heard yes. Yep. Sam, if you own this land, make it go to the red and hold it there as long as you can. Yeah. Alright, he died on this land. Could you make a loud noise in here? Tony, you hear Tony? Yeah. Heard Sarah again. Did anyone bring a hooker here? <laughs> nope. You hear the laugh? Huh? Yep. <laughs> Who's in this room with us? What's my name? Can you say my name? Do you hear that? What the hell was that? What the fuck was that? I hope that caught it. That was caught on camera. Who are we talking to? Did it say demon? Could you tell me who we're talking to? Devil. Were we followed from the haunted museum, from Lorraine Warren's museum items? Is this feel cold in here? Yeah. Like it got really cold. Could you say my name? Do you know who I am? Hello. 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 You got cold? Yeah. Oh, cold. Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Hold on. Sometimes child spirits are actually demons. Are you a demon? Because we were just around haunted dolls and haunted items. And we always, we could have been followed back by an entity. You never know. Well, you never know. Yeah, but if it's haunting a particular item, why would it follow us here? Who knows? To check out? I, I don't know. Where did you come from? Do you know Lorraine Warren? Devil. You heard devil, right? Yeah, I heard devil. Evil. Red. And look what color lights yeah, on. Little, Red. Yeah. I got the chills. I'm cold. It got cold in here. Yeah, it did. I'm like cold. Where did you come from? 
Is there something evil in this room? I need to put my protection thing on, don't I? I would. I would. I definitely would. David? Didn't it say David last time? Yes, it did. Do we need to burn sage? Hello? So, hello? Hello? I think I just copied my hello. Yes. Hello. I want soda. <laughs> What kind of soda do you, uh, would you like? I don't like Pepsi. I know what Chuck does. Obviously, I know you know. Evil again. You're not leaving me here alone, are ya? I'm going pee. What can I say? The thing's saying demon and stuff. I know what it's saying, Tony. I can't help it. I have to pee. Could you say one of our names? We've said our names here a bunch of times. Boy. I'll just say Tony. I heard Anthony. I said Tony. I'm going to count to the number three. Once I get to the number three, I want you to say my name. You ready? One. Two. Three. Love you. Yeah, so say Lala and then say love you. I heard something like that. And then Lala and then it's love you. Let's uh turn it down real quick. Let's go back to my bed. Yeah. Where are you going? See again. You're not leaving me in here by myself. I'm just going. You're happy. You're happy. Why are you happy? Is it because I'm alone? Can you show yourself in that mirror in front of me? What? Can you walk by? Can I walk by? Not you, you f***ing dumbass. I'm talking to the demon. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I want you to walk by while you're pissing. Okay, we were followed by something. I'm not saying any of those haunted items but left with us. But, but what I'm saying is maybe it's a piece of the energy. Yeah, something could have come home with us. Did you hear the cat? Yeah. And when's the last time we heard a cat? Earlier. Yeah. Basement. I'm getting a fucking chill. I, I, it's I, getting I, weird in here, isn't it? Yeah, no, that's why and I keep peeing. And I know I've drank in a lot, but I still haven't... I just said pee. Um, Tony, in the last, what, 10, 15 minutes, I've peed three times? Hey, you guys want to get Tony alone? It said Tony. Tony. But some of these are really mean to you, aren't they? I don't know, I'm a little freaked out. Um, you get freaked out way too more easily. When a device is saying your name that many times, yeah, I'm a little freaking nervous. It said my name a couple of times, but not as much as it said your name. Somebody likes you.